Hello friends and welcome to my kitchen. This is Batel from Batel's Kitchen and today I am so excited to be sharing with you one of my favorite salads. The name of the salad is Fatouche. Fatouche salad is basically a rustic salad that has some bread in it and like big chunks of tomatoes and cucumbers and parsley and herbs. Just really, really uh, satisfying. Uh, usually this salad is made with pita bread, which I don't have today. So I'm gonna be using just um, multi-grain bread, which is going to be perfectly fine. And I'm gonna be starting with just cutting it into um, cubes, or you can kind of like tear it with your hands like this whatever you prefer or if you want like even pieces you can go ahead and do that so i think that it is more like a panzanella salad uh, that we're all familiar with so i have over here a baking sheet with parchment paper you don't have to use a parchment paper but why not so i'm just uh putting those pieces in here and, and i am drizzling about a tablespoon of olive oil and my favorite spice za'atar which is a very israeli arabic kind of spice that has a really nice flavor and um, a little bit of salt pink himalayan salt just to flavor it up a quick mix and I am going to pop it in the oven on uh, 350 for about seven to 10 minutes. You do have to watch it so it doesn't get burned because it's a really thin bread and we wanna get this nice uh, crust on it. And pop it in the oven. So my oven is already preheated. I am putting it in the oven just like and now I'm gonna put a timer, which is something that I always use for about seven minutes, and then it's gonna call me up to check on it. And now let's go for the salad. So what I need over here is a plate, a cucumber, tomato, red onion, and I have my tahini, which is already prepared. Um, and let's assemble this salad together. So I'm gonna be starting with this cucumber. You don't need too much if it's only for you. So I'm cutting it in half and then another half like that and giving it like a rough kind of chop. Same for my tomato. You need a sharp knife so everything goes smooth. I'm gonna chop it like this. So this salad is really rustic and so satisfying. It reminds me so much of Israel. There is nothing better than eating breakfast in Israel. The restaurants are just so good and the atmosphere and the vibe is just amazing. All day you wanna eat only breakfast. You don't care about the rest. Okay, so that's enough, I think, for me. I'm gonna dump it into my plate over here. So this is really perfect for brunch. If you're a brunch person, I'm so much a brunch person. I just love brunch. I think I'm gonna add the whole tomato. Why not? Dump it in here. And now I'm gonna cut my onion. It already smells really good from the bread in the oven. Now we're just gonna do like half moons. And I'm going to sprinkle these onions right here. It might be a little bit too much onion for one person, but if you make a bigger quantity, you can do like a whole half a, an onion. You can do white onion if you don't have the red one, but I really like the flavor of this one. And we're gonna go with fresh herbs. So you can do nana, 
Nana in, in Hebrew is uh, mint. I don't have any mint today and I don't have parsley, but I do have cilantro. So I'm gonna go with cilantro. But the real herb that goes here is, um, is parsley. Again, we're not doing a fine chop over here. We're doing like a rustic kind of chop. Putting in here. Look how gorgeous this is already. So this is like a really basic dressing. I'm going with olive oil, pink Himalayan salt as well, and lemon. So now that I put my lemon, I'm just going to mix it up. salad is all mixed up I am going to drizzle just a tiny bit of tahini dressing that I have over here and also just for fun why not I have everything but the bagel spice I'm going to sprinkle a little bit I cannot wait to dig into this my bread is ready. I am just kind of like, I'm putting it here. No science to it. I'm just putting it like that over here. And don't forget, this is already seasoned. We have the salt over here. We have the za'atar spice. Uh, I'm going to go with a little bit more tahini on top. And this salad is ready. I'm going to be posting it on my blog at batelskitchen.com. I hope you give it a try. And uh, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page and Instagram. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.